Hey babe, do you need anything from Target or Walmart? Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, yeah, I know I normally don't like to go, but you know, I just wanted you to know I've been thinking about you and I just want to do something for you. I'll go get that, babe. Love you, bye. All right, guys, this is another big week for the news. So welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Marvel Car News. And as always, I hope you are having a marvelous day. We've got a stack of news for you. And I'm going to start with the biggest news, not Spidey Metal. <laughs> Actually, the biggest news is Marvel Masterpieces. Now, if you're new to the channel, you're new to Marvel cards, you may be wondering what is Marvel Masterpieces? as well as one of the premier sets for Marvel cards. It's original art and it's classic, it's iconic. We're in our 30th year for Marvel Masterpiece, the original 1992 Joe Jusco release, really set the Marvel card world on fire and it's still burning to this day. And every two years since 2016, this product has been released. 16, 18, 20, 20, but not in 2022. We got word today from Upper Deck on an interview that we were able to call in and ask questions that officially Marvel Masterpieces will not happen until 2024. Yet yeah, that's right, 2024 will be the release of the next Marvel Masterpiece set. It does appear that the artist has been selected, or artist, I don't know which one it is. Tony, who we were speaking with at Upper Deck, was not willing to commit who the artist or artist is, but it did seem based on his body language and selection of words that there is an artist. But the big news, don't have to worry about spending that money this year on Marvel Masterpieces. If you were saving up, you can go ahead and reinvest that into Flare Ultra Avengers or Spider-Man Metal or Marvel Beginnings, which is going to be released hopefully later this year. Now, real quick, before we get to the Spider-Man Metal news, I will let you also know that Tony also dropped the information in the news that the next release will likely be Marvel's Allure. And it feels like it's going to happen pretty soon, but uh, he did not say it will be Marvel's Allure and that it will be in September, but he did say the next release is gonna, that's going to come will be an MCU theme. And there's really only one is Marvel Allure. Now we do have WandaVision, that's a potential release, but with pre-orders out there, we're pretty sure that's going to be next year. I, I like, I've actually already pre-ordered some of that. But Marvel's Allure, that's been available to pre-order for some time. It's available on sites like Dave and Adams. You probably want to go ahead and check it out. That takes us to Spider-Man Metal. Now, wow, since the last time I did a Marvel Car News, which we missed last week, not because we were not creating content, we were busy opening up Spider-Man Metal day after day after day after day. And so much has happened with that product. For instance, news around the fact that we didn't get a spot on the checklist, we got another Spider-Man. News that Wolverine is in the checklist. And news that these boxes, they tend to have an odd correlation about them. Now, some of these boxes are duds where they don't have any hits in them at all, or all the hits are just golds or grandioses. But we're seeing a lot of boxes that have multiple hits in them. We even saw a pack that had three red PMGs. I do not think this is the norm or something that you should expect to happen. The news is that there is some QC issues and I'm gonna throw up a link in the description below with an email. If you have one of these dud boxes that did not get the hits it was supposed to get because another box got all of them, then you can email Upper Deck and get your owed cards or really not the cards specifically that would have been in that box, but something that they feel is equivalent to what you were uh, supposed to have. If you want more information about uh, how to email and reach out to Upper Deck to get your replacement cards for either damaged cards or missing hits, I have a video on the channel that I will link right here in the description and you can watch it. It'll give you really all the information that you need to be able to submit your QC issues to Upper Deck. Now, big news for Spider-Man Metal is Spider-Man EPAC. So if you're not familiar with EPAC, just know that Upper Deck does a physical hobby release and every once in a while they do a retail release, which is what we're getting with Spider-Man Metal. But with Marvel cards, they almost always do an EPAC release. Now, most people, their brain, when you hear EPAC, immediately think that means some digital NFT card online. Well, that is not it at all. Do not think NFT, do not think digital card. It is, it is a way for Upper Deck to deliver the product straight to the consumer with an unboxing opening experience. Meaning that you're actually going to buy this product online, you're gonna buy a box, and you're going to click through opening of the packs. And as you open the packs, it's gonna reveal the cards that you get from that pack, and it will be scanned images of the actual card. It'll go into your collection and you can mail those home to you. It'll be the same type of cards 
that you're getting in the physical hobby boxes. That's why I've been telling people don't overpay for these physical boxes when EPAC is going to come because it's going to be at a much lower price point than these physical hobby boxes right now at five to seven hundred dollars a box. The news in the interview that we have from Upper Deck today was that the prices are going to be in line with X-Men that was released last year on EPAC and that was at two hundred and fifty dollars a box. So in line, what does that mean? To me, what that means is that the max price on EPAC for Spider-Man Metal would be 275, 300, max 350, which is still significantly cheaper than these hobby boxes. And we're gonna get that release, I believe, by October 1st or shortly after that, uh, maybe like in September. So if you are saving your money for physical boxes, you might as well save them for the EPAC release. Now, I will do an educational video on EPAC and how to EPAC later in the next week or two so that you will be prepared for how to navigate EPAC when Spider-Man Metal comes out. And keep an eye on the channel because as soon as we get the release date, which they may give us the date like a week before, so you will know when to be ready with your Upper Deck EPAC account so that you can purchase Spider-Man Metal. So that website is UpperDeckEPAC.com. In other Spider-Man Metal news is that Target actually made available the pre-order for Spider-Man Metal product in the blaster boxes at a price of $29.99 to be released on September the 13th. September the 13th, that's when those will be shipped out from Target. Now that pre-order went up in the wee mornings of Sunday morning and within two hours, it was sold out, sold out. And so I believe that product will come back up on Target. It is supposed to be made available uh, at Walmart as well. But Upper Deck said that this is to be really a mass release. And what they meant by that is that all retailers, as long as the product is available, have the option to buy this from Upper Deck and put it on their shelves. So when I heard that, it made me realize that they likely printed a lot of this and they're making it widely available. It is not exclusive to Target and Walmart like we originally thought. The other thing about these blaster boxes that are, again, $20.99 as the pre-order price is that he did indicate that there's a chance that they may be made available globally. Now, Tony is looking into that and supposed to get information back to us so that we can know if I'm able to confirm that the product is going to be made available globally, I will certainly deliver that here at the channel. We love our global Marvel card fans and do want to be able to see you guys and gals get this product in your hands in some way. Now, in other Spider-Man Metal news, we did get some one-of-one -one sightings. We were able to see that the Carnage was pulled, that the Ironheart was pulled, that the Doctor Strange and the Mysterio one-of-ones were pulled. And so if you see any other one-of-ones out there and you want to let me know, shoot it to me in my DM at Spidey Hits on Instagram. All right, so this week's Instagram account of the week goes to none other than Gingy Man Cards. Gingy Man, you are one of my favorite Marvel card guys. You're one of the first Marvel card content creators that I ever spoke with and developed a relationship with. And I know a lot of people in this hobby are here because of you and the content you put out all the way over there in the UK. We really love you and it's always fun when you're on the Spidey Hits channel. Keep doing the good work, my friend. And if you're not familiar with Gingy Man cards, which if you watch this channel, you probably are, but know this, he's got an awesome Instagram account TikTok account, and of course, an awesome YouTube account. Be sure to check him out. Give him a follow if you're not on all those platforms and tell him that Spidey sent you. This has been another episode of the Marvel Car News, and I really do appreciate you watching it. If you like this kind of content, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video and this news, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know the news if you hear it. Send me a DM on Spidey Hits. But as always, I hope you have a marvelous day.